um, yesterday was a very upsetting experience um, for bereaved families, I think, all over the land. Um, Boris Johnson has not um, reassured us in, in any sense or more fashion. Uh, we feel um, very badly let down um, and we, we are, um, you know, very, very upset. Um, yesterday's performance um, in the House of Commons uh, was, was nothing more than that. Um, it was a self-serving exercise uh, where the Prime Minister, um, his, his main focus really was to protect himself um, and perhaps buy some more time. Um, the apology is hollow. Um, he's not sorry. He's sorry he got caught. Tell me about um, your dad and what happened, Aldrich, although you, you knew him, I think, as Cleo, didn't you? Yes, yes, that's right, um, Cleo. My dad uh, was a Windrush pioneer. Um, he came from Barbados in the 1950s, um, settled here, worked hard all his life. Um, he was a, a, a musician. Um, he was a family man and he... He was a, a, a hearty, robust character, and we loved him dearly and, and miss him um, so much. And um, he died in a care home of COVID in April, 15th of April, 2020. Uh, we lost him. And, um, you know, it, it's been a very, very challenging time for us since then. And, you know, our, my grief is compounded by these, you know, revelations that keep coming, these scandals, you know, so drip, drip, drip. Every few weeks, there's something else. Um, and we lost, you know, we lost our loved ones uh, to COVID in very difficult circumstances. And um, it, it, it's just, um, it's heartbreaking, really, that, you know, we, we, we're still having these, um, you know, these, these scandals and, you know, these very hurtful things are happening that, that are just very upsetting for all of us. Uh, a few days before that, that Downing Street party, I was standing at my father's graveside. Um, a few of us were huddled around the graveside. Um, I wasn't able to give my father the funeral that he would have wanted. So, um, because, you know, we were subject clearly to, um, you know, the rules and had to make many sacrifices at this time. So to hear that um, Downing Street were planning a party at that time is, is just absolutely, you know, it's, it's, it's disgraceful. The behaviour is disgraceful. To keep seeing these stories of parties coming up again and again, being drip-fed to the public, slowly taking Boris Johnson down, is so painful because each time it takes you back to that grief, that lonely lockdown, those funerals that weren't even funerals. I mean, my dad's funeral, the vicar told us, I'm really sorry, but it's 20 minutes tops. It's outside. There are 10 of you and you have to stand socially distanced. You can't touch your dad's coffin. You have to watch him being lowered into the ground in the rain. Boris Johnson said he spent 25 minutes at that party. He got five minutes more to socialise and bring his own booze than I did for my dad's funeral.